Hello everyone, welcome to or back to the new grid. I'm Kyle and in today's video I'm going to break down my latest full self-driving beta 10.6.1 drive. So instead of showing you the full drive, I'm going to basically analyze some of the clips in it from where it does go wrong and maybe explain some of why full self-driving phantom braking and maybe autopilot's also phantom braking and go through a few different roundabouts to show what it's doing while it's going through them and then finally there was one incidence where I had to take over completely because it was on a collision course with a UPS truck and I, I sat back rewatched that clip and would like to analyze it a bit more so with that here's the first clip so in this clip, Beta is basically just driving me down the roadway and then it just starts to barely slow down a little bit and there's some trash cans on the right hand side of the road but there's also some other things like there's a mailbox there and whatnot. So I, I can't tell anything off of the visuals why this particular instance is failing but when we get to this next clip I'm going down the road and I'm approaching mailbox on the right hand side of the road which then has a driveway on the left hand side of the road right across from it and it just starts to slow down for that instance and if you pause the clip which I'll put in a little bit of a pause of it right now you can see that beta's rendering of what's happening there is there's rendering that mailbox as a person that's basically trying to cross the roadway right there so Beta's being careful it swerves to kind of avoid them thinking that this mailbox is a person so that's a little bit of why Beta's stopping and then finally I have another clip where I'm just going down the roadway and then there's another instance where it shows that the there's someone in this on the side of the road and in this case it's actually a sign that looks apparently like a person in Beta's mind and it's trying to be extra cautious around pedestrians so that explains a little bit of some random phantom breakings they're not as random when you put them into this kind of context so then I wanted to bring up some roundabout issues that I saw because I basically did the same drive as my last 10.5 drive and in this one I'm entering into the roundabout it proceeds kinda of slowly because there's a car in it and then once I get into it it basically just stops and is going to a standstill well at the time while I'm driving I didn't realize that the car on that was entering the roundabout just next to it was approaching it and full self driving picked up on this car approaching the roundabout and it probably calculated its speeds and figured that we would be hitting hitting the same point of the roundabout at the same time as this other car so because of that we basically yielded our right away to that car letting them proceed but with roundabouts it's technically who's in the roundabout should not have to yield to those that are entering the roundabout so that's something that beta needs to account for and finally on the topic of roundabouts I had another instance the intersection that just changed to a roundabout there was a truck that came into the roundabout so as I would I was starting to wait for them well they ended up pulling up into the center median of the roundabout and parked and started to get out well that confused beta because it was right in front of them so I had to basically press the accelerator to continue and it would continue once I did press that but that's another layer of caution where hey maybe someone somehow entered this roundabout wrong and just was driving through the center of the roundabout so there was a little error on the cautious side for this situation so since we were talking about roundabouts here relating to how it's breaking I just thought I'd bring up this clip where beta goes through a roundabout but it enters at a very fast speed and exits 
very fast. Now exiting, I'm okay with it going fast out of it, but it was going 25, 30 mile an hour into the roundabout, which isn't safe to be yielding to cars that could be entering and exiting the roundabout. Now maybe it is good enough and would have slowed down if there were cars coming from a different direction, but it's hard to tell with that. So that's something that I'd like to keep trying to get videos of this roundabout or others to see how and when it slows down entering or exiting the roundabouts to see how much of its surroundings it's taking into effect or when determining if it can go through it, if it needs to slow a lot, or how it needs to slow down for other cars coming into it. Finally in this drive I had a pretty close encounter with a UPS truck. So I'm going down a roadway and the speed limit's 55 miles an hour and so it's just chugging along but there's a UPS truck that can't turn into a driveway because the trash cans are basically blocking the entrance to the driveway so it can't go into it. So my car is approaching this UPS truck that started to turn into this driveway that so it's blocking my lane completely and Beta's still not slowing and once I get to a certain spot where I think I need to take over, I take over. Now if you continue watching it does notice that there is the vehicle blocking the roadway a few seconds later after I've taken over so it probably would have been okay that it would have stopped on time. It would have been a lot harder of a braking than I would have liked. So that's something that probably should get addressed at some point is how well it can see the roadway ahead of it because I felt like it was going to be braking way too hard. So that's why I had to take over. And I think you would agree if you were in that situation going 55 mile an hour towards a big UPS truck, you definitely don't want to hit that. So with that, this is my video for the full self-driving beta 10.6.1 for right now. I think I like this format better because I can discuss them more in detail after they've occurred and I can an analyze the frames, what's happening. So if you like this format, please like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.